Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty crazy things to go and cover and talk about over here when it comes to, well, the power of social media. So we actually have a story over here and a few kind of other kind of cool Xbox stories going on for the weekend where a fan and owner of the consoles literally went and called out Phil Spencer himself. Like, if you guys don't know Phil Spencer, he's literally the Xbox CEO, the Xbox head honcho himself, and they literally went and called him out. And, like, they're talking, they're typing up on Twitter, they're sending messages, they're calling him out, being like, bro, you don't know what you'd be doing. Not that dramatic, but still. And they got a response, and they now actually have new features and changes and fixes coming out in the near future. I just want to show you guys, because this is like, <laughs> like, I'm out in my head as a PlayStation guy, too. I'm just sitting here imagining of, like, could, would someone would go and send a message to Jim Ryan? Do you think he would go and casually respond up on Twitter? Do you think he'd actually respond or have one of his interns look into it? Like, what's going on here? So, I'm just going to give a little cool story over here. A few cool little, like, things as well leaked from Xbox. Do you want a few little various things all throughout this video? So, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below. The PS5 disc, digital, all that. Twitter and Twitch stream down below. Target Amazon, all that stuff. And sign up for that Weeble. You guys have a few more days for some good stock promos. So, uh, as we mentioned, this is just kind of a funny, and all at the end of the day, kind of wholesome story, where the Xbox Series X and S quick resume has now been disabled. The option to be now essentially, essentially looked at, according to Xbox boss, Phil Spencer. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, because I'm sure people care about this update regardless, but just the way it happened is hilarious. So, occasionally... Kind of give you some backstory on this. Sometimes using the quick resume on Xbox Series X and S can actually cause issues with certain online games. And in so, some users have been asking for the option to be able, be able to turn off the feature and turn on back again if they want to. So on and off functions. So according to the Xbox boss, Phil Spencer, this is something the team will add to as its list of things to go look at. So kind of I think the big issue with this is just the functionality of it. If you're playing a single player game, I was going to use example, I don't know, Halo, Halo single player, whatever. Uh, you load into the game, and the, basically the AI and how the game's worked and saved and auto-saved, it doesn't necessarily affect anything. Like, you're not really having to, like, have, like, a constant, like, DNS problem. You're not really, like, constantly pinging to servers, online servers, other players, or whatever it may be. Basically, just have the game files, and it's loaded, and whatever your character is doing, that only kind of basically affects your own Xbox console of whatever you're just kind of going, being up to. But the big issue for that is that some people were trying to use the quick resume and they were playing games like, say, Call of Duty or an Overwatch or any other type of multiplayer game. And the big issue with that is, number one, you have other players that are also combined with it. So let's go and say you have like a random lobby of 20 people. You can't just go and leave and then re-resume because the online checker would just assume that you're not ready for the game. Uh, they don't want to put you into a game if you're like AFK. So you guys probably know some games just kick you out if you're AFK, like all this type of stuff. So then the Xbox would try to quick resume as you're technically in, say, like a Call of Duty lobby and the game's on going for three minutes, but how the system works is it would kick you out. So it like, doesn't really necessarily know where to put you. Uh, I'm sure you guys have done this on other online games or even on your phone sometimes. Or stuff that we're just weird, awkward hiccup and you're trying to relaunch something and just closes or it's done. You're maybe trying to click on a live stream, YouTube video, but it's over or whatever, like an update, whatever it might be. That's just how like life is. Like sometimes technology is like that, which is totally fine. But the one big issue with it is that sometimes these features can then go and affect it, uh, you know, in like a bigger sense. Because if you're not connecting these online servers, you're just going to get kicked out, booted out. And that's actually been leading to issues with connections on the quick resume. So the big issue is that if you're playing a normal single player game, you can quick resume whenever you want. You do multiplayer, you can't quick resume. But the issues with the quick resume is that it basically would go and kick you out of the game and make you have to relaunch. So instead of like, say you're in a Call of Duty lobby, you leave, the game kicks you out. You try to quick resume, like maybe even a day later, five days later, and then the game basically will close the entire app rather than just kind of quick resuming on like the you got kicked thing and you can kind of go back to the online server. So it's not like the biggest deal of an issue, but it's enough of an issue that I've heard people complain about it. You can see people on Twitter complaining about it and all that. So basically, as they mentioned, when putting a game into quick resume state on Xbox, it suspends your session, so then you can immediately pick up where you left off. The feature works more successfully with the majority of single player games, but can run to problems when suspended in online games, especially ones that require a connection to a server. So think of the likes of FIFA, Halo Infinite, Pug, Fall Guys, and all the experience issues when put into a quick resume state, which means having to quit the game fully and then reboot it. So I'm going to go and say it's not like the biggest thing, like I mean it might add an extra 30 seconds or a minute, but if you're an avid gamer, or maybe if you have kids, I know quite a few of you guys in my community have kids, it definitely makes the whole situation a little bit harder 
because well who wants to like who wants to deal with this you know who wants to like like what if you got to go away every 10 minutes or what if you have like a son or a baby or whatever it might be if like it just makes makes us so you can almost pretty much not play a multiplayer game single player is fine but multiplayer makes a lot more of an issue especially if you have to leave like if you guys have had kids i haven't but i know I, my sister does like bro Sometimes, like, they just get into things, or they have to be fed, or change a diaper. And, like, that's probably priority number one. You don't care about the multiplayer game. But then maybe 30 minutes later, you want to have a chance to quick resume, and if it takes an extra minute, and you're already kind of, like, time-crunched as is, it's not a fun time. Very small issues, but so. But basically, then we also had this guy, and it's kind of, like, the big story with it, where Gabe TC sent out a tweet to Xbox Boss. I still don't understand how it's not just a feature you can disable. So, like, they don't mind just taking the error screens and just kind of going from there and going back to the menus without having to relaunch or relaunch their console. It's amazing for a lot of gamers' games, but when it tries to quick resume an online-only game, it absolutely breaks it, and you have to manually quit. If only an option to disable it for such a game existed. And then we also, like I said, had Phil Spencer himself go in response saying, good feature to ask, makes sense, we will put on the list of things to do. So you gotta give, like, a little quick clap over to here to Phil Spencer, who's just kind of enjoying his stuff, doing his vibes, whatever. And he still took the time out of the day to respond to a random Xbox member. And this is also after a critique and kind of calling him out a little bit. Not a big call out, obviously, he was still polite. But it still is, like, you know, <laughs> you wouldn't really imagine, like, a multi-billion dollar company CEO just casually responding to you up on Twitter. Although I have seen Elon Musk go and hit some pretty snazzy responses as time's kind of gone on over here. So you got to give some credit. You got to give some faith. And that's pretty cool. But there also was a pretty big leak as well that happened with the Xbox Series X and S Lunar Shift, which actually looks insanely cool. Controller appears to be leaked on Amazon. So Microsoft could be gearing up to launch another controller design ready for the holiday season. After an account on Twitter claims to have spotted the Lunar Shift Xbox Series X and S controller on Amazon. So earlier this week, Microsoft announced and launched the new Xbox wireless controller Mineral uh, Camo Special Edition, which joins the company's lineup of camo themed controllers. Now it looks like last year's Xbox wireless controller Aqua Shift Special Edition could also be getting a sibling thanks to all this stuff and Espia de Orfuentes for finding that in the first place. And I gotta say, this controller does look... Looks pretty sick. You gotta admit, that does look pretty sick. So basically, this is, I think, just like an API adding where, as you guys know, we kind of learn this a lot with the PS5 restacks. When they go and have these companies adding stuff, sometimes it can have issues where it's like, hey, like, we have to make it public really quick, or maybe, like, an intern makes it public on, on accident, or, like, they're just trying to do it really quick and hope no one sees it. But now that we have a lot of bots that kind of ping whenever things in the API get changed or whatever, folks have a chance to see the stuff early. So it isn't technically out as of yet, and the controller designs that we're seeing on the screen, like right there, I gotta be honest, they look pretty sick. Like, <laughs> uh, I think the PlayStation 5 God of War controller looks sick. I think this one looks sick. Now, the only thing I think I'd personally like would maybe have like a good Santa Claus, like, you know, we have some elves, some Christmas trees, you know, some candy canes on it. I mean, maybe I'm just a weirdo, but I probably would be one of those guys who'd end up buying a, <laughs> buying a controller like that. But pretty big uh, Xbox League coming out with this one because we've also been seeing a lot of other controllers as well also kind of making their way into the rounds of, uh, you know, just things in general. Like we're seeing companies picking up more, PlayStation picking up more, and probably a lot more of those Google Stadia controllers ending up on like eBay to these next few days. And now to kind of wind down this one, because I kind of want to check out this game, Xbox did actually recently add a few more games only a few days ago, and these are all kind of cool. So they have the Let's Build a Zoo game, which in all honesty, I kind of want to stream this up on Twitch. <laughs> I've been doing some uh, Grounded and Last of Us up on Twitch if you guys want to hang out. Uh, but... It's just kind of cool to see. So we have this Let's Build a Zoo game, kind of a cute little indie game I'll float on in. They had this other game called Despot Games, which I'm going to be honest, I'm probably not going to play. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's maybe someone else's style. It's on Game Pass. It's free if you guys want to download it, check that out. I am a really big sucker for simulator games. And then also Valheim, which was actually a very big, uh, this game was a big trending game about a year or two years ago or so. Awesome game if you guys like, like the Minecraft, survival games, exploration games. Pretty high up there at the end of the day. So just giving you guys the rundown on the news. It's kind of cool to see Phil Spencer kind of taking a stand. Kind of cool to see some leaks. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos all throughout this weekend. Because we do have quite a few to go talk about as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on for that. As well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below. The Twitter and Twitch streams down below. And the Weeble signups in case you guys want. And we'll see you guys up all throughout the next few days for some more videos. Love you guys.